Hi friends, welcome to another topic in ophthalmology, glaucoma. Glaucoma is a chronic progressive optic neuropathy which is irreversible and this is something which can't be cured but we can uh, try to prevent the progression of uh, glaucoma by controlling the intraocular pressure so this is something like blood pressure which you can't cure but you can keep it under control so what's glaucoma most of our patients are not aware of what glaucoma is and what are the risks of glaucoma glaucoma is a progressive optic neuropathy that is uh, there is a progressive decrease in the optic nerve function and the major risk factor for this progression of optic neuropathy is increased intraocular pressure there is something called as normal tension glaucoma we are not going to discuss on that at this moment we'll try to understand some basics of glaucoma three important features of glaucoma are increased intraocular pressure the normal intraocular pressure is between 10 to 21 millimeters of mercury any pressure more than 21 can be considered as a risk factor for glaucoma the second important feature of glaucoma is optic disc cupping optic disc is the part of the back of the eye from where the retinal blood vessels start we will look at the picture of an optic disc at a later stage and the third characteristic feature is visual field defect this is the problem with the glaucoma the visual field the field of vision starts decreasing in glaucoma the major types of glaucoma are open angle glaucoma and angle closure glaucoma as the name itself suggests the angle that is uh, the iridocorneal angle between the cornea and the iris if that angle is open it's called as open angle glaucoma that is this trabecular meshwork which is a part of the angle of the anterior chamber if that is blocked then that is open angle glaucoma whereas in angle closure glaucoma there is a contact between the iris and the cornea which is called as idocorneal contact which prevents the aqueous that is normally produced from draining the operation of these two types of glaucomas is totally different you will see how they differ now open angle glaucoma is generally detected on routine eye testing Patients are not aware of this glaucoma unless they reach the end stage glaucoma. So they will notice their field of vision has decreased in the form of a tubular vision. That is, they see as if they are looking through a tube because the field of vision becomes narrow and ultimately it leads to blindness. So the important thing in glaucoma is regular screening for glaucoma so anyone who is more than 50 years needs to see an eye doctor or an optician on regular basis to monitor for glaucoma if anyone in the family has got glaucoma then the risk of developing glaucoma increases it generally is seen after 60 years of age you treat it with the intraocular pressure lowering drops like prostaglandin analogs like latanoprost 
or beta blockers like timolol or dorsalamide eye drops carbonic anhydrase inhibitors and so on the second treatment option is laser trabeculoplasty and the third treatment option is surgery that is trabeculoplasty or trabeculectomy in contrast to open angle this angle closure glaucoma is a real ocular emergency it's a very very painful condition and it presents with acute painful loss of vision over a period of few minutes to hours and when you examine the eye the patient will not allow you to examine because of the severity of the pain when you look at the eye the cornea appears cloudy the pupil will be dilated and it will be non-reactive the anterior chamber will be very shallow and the intraocular pressure will be very very high as i was telling the normal pressure is up to 21 whereas in acute angle closure glaucoma it may go as high as 80 millimeter of mercury how do you treat angle closure glaucoma you have to admit these patients because it's a very very painful condition and it is a vision threatening condition you reduce the intraocular pressure by giving intravenous astazolamide that is carbonic anhydrase inhibitor or mannitol which is a diuretic you start the patient on topical pilocarpine drops and other intraocular pressure lowering drops the definitive treatment involves doing YAG laser peripheral iodotomy where you create an opening in the peripheral part of the iris to allow the aqueous to be drained. This is a disc picture. This picture, this is the optic disc, these are the retinal blood vessels and this white is the cup. If you look at this, the normal ratio of this disc to cup is around 0.3 in this case, but up to 0.5 can be normal as well. Whereas the picture on the left side, you can see the optic cup is very much enlarged. I would say it is around 0.7 cup disc ratio with the thinning of the neuroretinal rim as well. So this is what an optic disc looks like in glaucoma. So to summarize, glaucoma has got characteristic features of increased intraocular pressure, optic disc cupping and visual field defects. Hope you liked this short talk on glaucoma.